Hey, YTPC, it's your good friend Dishpipe coming at you from South Carolina. It's actually pretty nice out here. It's January 6th, and I'm out here wearing sle short sleeves and a t-shirt. It's beautiful out here. I have moved shooting locations to out here in the parking pad. I thought it'd be a little better lighting. It's not really that great because the sun's gone down over the house over there. Um, I'm home with a boy. Wife, wife and other boy are out gallivanting somewhere in a grocery store. And you might hear some noises. You might hear a dog rustling around. There's construction going on down the road. You might hear some beepings and bangings and construction noises. And of course, the guy across the street's always got some kind of project going on. So there's always noises going on. But anyway, purpose of this video is hangover tobaccos. I think. There you go. I mentioned doing this video a while back. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. I think right, right after I took my little, like, three-month sabbatical, I thought I was going to do it. I didn't get around to it. But now here it is. Um, now dogs are fighting. The purpose of this video is, you know, what kind of tobaccos should you, should you smoke if you have that hangover? I'm talking about you got the, the headache. A little bit of nausea, a little upset stomach. I, I'm not saying you're puking or you got to stay in bed. In that case, you need to go to a damn hospital. You got you got alcohol poisoning. This is kind of like you're not feeling too hot, but you want to smoke your pipe. Anyways, housekeeping first. Got the uh, oh, there's some tobacco falling out. The moon, uh, the moonshine, the Icarus, dark rusticated strawberry. I think I called this a sandblaster last time when I got it. I was wrong. I, I was wrong. It's a, it's a dark rusticated. And inside I have the McCraney's Sterling Bridge. It's a vapor. And I know I said when I first started smoking this, I'm going to just smoke Virginia's out for a little bit while I break it in. However, the paprika content in this is so low, it's not really, I can't even really tell the paprika in there very much yet. And I am going to be enjoying me some Buffalo Trace, plain old Buffalo Trace. Um, probably my favorite whiskey. It's not available all the time around here. You better get your ass out of here. Get. Not you folks. You stay here. My dog's got to get out of here. Anyway, it's not available around here. Not available here all the time. It's kind of almost unicorn-like around here. But... For the money, is probably the best whiskey. One of the best whiskeys. Eagle Rare is the best whiskey for the money. Uh, off tangent. But this Sterling Bridge is pretty darn amazing. This is the one he wouldn't tell me what the blend, what was in the blend, like what manufacturer he used for the blend. Anyway, folks. All right. Again. Hangover tobaccos. I want to try not to. I'm, I'm going to use specific blends as examples, and I won't. I'm not going to. Yeah, I want to use specific blend, blends for examples, but not. I'm going. To, I want to say this, but not focus on these blends per se. And again, let me disclaimer this: everybody is freaking different. You know, people who smoke three cases of beer. Wake up with a little bit of a headache and smoke anything. You know, nowadays for me, you know, drink three cases. I can't drink three cases of beer, but you know, nowadays for me, a hangover takes about as much time as a uh, recovery time as minor surgery. So. I'm not, and also I'm not going to get into don't drink too much because you'll get a hangover. You're adults, you know what to do. That's, that's on you. Anyway, let me first start off with tobaccos or blends you should avoid. I don't say anything with heavy burley. Any kind of dark fire, any kind of Kentucky. Um, example on a bookshop. That is just a heavy, heavy tobacco to begin with. It's very heavy in the burley. Perique as well. Virginia, perique as well. Everything like that. It's just not going to not going to feel great it's in uh, you know on a bookshop again if you don't eat anything you're prepared for it, it will give you a headache um another one buy you morning or sorry <laughs> another one anything is heavy in perique like buy you morning 
Again, if you're not prepared for it, it's going to give you a headache regardless. Um, it's, it's also a thick blend. It's got a lot of stuff going on in there, a lot of burly in there as well. Um, I'll probably also avoid a Scudo a type blend as a Virginia Perique and my boy just fell off the swing set. Hold on. He's all right. But anyway, something like that. Heavy, anything heavy, heavy Perique is just going to wreak havoc on you. And again, again, me is going to wreak havoc on me. I just can't. Just, it'll, it'll, it'll blow me away. It'll, it'll hurt me if I do that. Um, um, not to not necessarily avoid, but aromatics you might not want to take take a take advantage of. Um, some may be a little too sweet, but we need that little egg, a little that little sweetness, maybe like a lane one Q or anything like that, or even a cat in black OTC, um, which I think is essentially lane one Q, but it's not heavy in the sweetness. It's got a little taint, a little sweet into it. Yeah, it's a burly base, but it's not a heavy burly base, and it's, it, you'll be fine. Now, I would avoid something like, you know, Borkham Rift Whiskey, which is as sweet as I'll give out. This is going to, again, it's just not going to be tasting good. It's kind of like, you know, if you got a hangover and you wake up, I think the last thing I want to do is eat chocolate, like eat a cake or eat something very, something with syrup on it. I want, it's, that made me puke. And again, I'm not one of those, I'm not, I'm not a, on a side note, I'm not one of those puke while drinking kind of drinkers. But I'm one of the next day hangover kind of dr pukers. So anything to calm the stomach down. Uh, for me, again, for me, I'm not a Latakia fan to begin with. There are some Latakias out there that are fine. Like I, I can't give an example because I don't smoke that much. Um, but I would avoid anything heavy in Latakia and Orientals. Because that's just it's, that's just going to dry your mouth out even more. It's going to make you feel more dehydrated. Because for me, um, Latakia's Orientals dry my mouth out. I, must, I, I, I got to drink water with those things, like my plum puddings and my, uh, um, yeah, I don't really smoke too much Latakia. Or uh, Magnum Opus, which is my favorite, White Knight. But again, those things dry my mouth out. I can have water on hand. I don't really drink liquor or beer or anything with those. I'm sitting down to drink it. So, yeah, you go just, I guess avoid Latakia's altogether unless, I'll get to it, hold on. Now, the blend I like to smoke when I do have a hangover is just straight, straight Virginia. Sorry, a straight, prepared, well prepared Virginia. Now make sure you gotta make sure it's good. The moisture content is good. It can't be too dry. Like I said, I got my Craney's blend. I can't think of the name off my top. Of my Red Stag it is good, but it's dry and it burns the shit out of my mouth if I smoke it too fast. So I'm gonna use an example right now because I smoke a lot. I've been smoking a lot of it and it's freaking tasty as shit. It is the McBaron. Like a boy's going inside. Yo, Pete, here, yep, yeah. here. Dog trying to sneak in. So, anyway, I've been smoking a shit, shit ton of it lately, so it's kind of top of my head. It's in my head right now. Is McBaron HH Pure Virginia. It's light. It is sweet. Dogs are going off because I don't know why. Um, it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's got like a natural flavor to it. Oh, get. Um, so, like I said, that that uh that red stag would be a whole lot better if it wasn't as dry. If it wasn't dry, it'd probably be a little bit easier to smoke and not burn fast, and therefore burn my tongue, burn my mouth. About throw some of my dogs. So, you know. Um, so yeah, my, my, my suggestion for a hangover blend is a straight Virginia. That's not too sweet. So again, avoid your heavy burly blends. Ex avoid your heavy Perique blends. You might be able to get away for a little bit of Perique. This might be a good one. The, uh, 
the showing the McCraney Strolling Bridge again. I don't know what it's made of, but something kind of like this. It's not a heavy perique. Um, but my boy's eating apples and cookies right now. That's whatever. Um, if, again, well, I, well, I shall pop off. Okay, anything heavy perique, you know, the Scudos, uh, Bayou Mornings. <coughs> Anyway, I don't know what that was. Um, Latakias, again, depends on your tolerance. It depends on if you like Latakias. I'll avoid anything with heavy Latakias. It's going to dry your mouth out. This is not going to be good. And, again, aromatics, just something, on, something not heavy on the flavoring. A little sweet. Captain Black, Lame One Q is good enough for you. So there you go. That's what I got. Um, that's just my opinion on the hangover blends. If you got some more, let me know. Please down there in the comments. My kid's screaming. But still, um, man, again, you know, you know your body. You know how you handle stuff. So it's just my opinion. So thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good one. Simper Smokey.